Shushu Carrington is confident that he will end Monster Inoue once he moves up to 126. Carrington has a lot of business at 126 before he gets to worry about Inoue. He's currently ranked number two by the WBO, number 10 by the IBF, number two by the WBA, number two by the WBC. Espinoza is a champion at WBO. Both him and Carrington are big for the weight of 126. That's the fight I would like to see, but it seems like he's leaning more towards fighting Nick Ball. And Inoue is currently number one and number two in the pound for pound list. And it seems like people are trying to rush him up from 122. And most of the boxing fans that are doing that is American boxing fans. They still think America is the mecca of boxing, which is not. Some boxing fans believe if you don't fight in America, you're nothing. I think that's why AJ gets a lot of hate, even though AJ has the best resume in the heavyweight division. And I think the same thing about Noya Inoue. Inoue fights in Japan, he's big in Japan. He doesn't need America to be a star. He's already a star in Japan. So a lot of American fans want him to move up. And the only reason they want him to move up is they want him to be beaten. Now, Shushu Carrington says, I see a lot of holes in this game and I'll even go to Japan to fight him. And I give him credit for that. I even gave Steve Fulton credit for that, for going to Japan and taking on a challenge because a lot of American fighters will not do that. They'll say, Noya Inoue has to come to America even though the bigger paycheck is to fight him in Japan. But like I said, Carrington has plenty of business at 126 he can take care of. But let's hear what Carrington has to say. I don't own the rights to this material. It's for educational use only, and it's used in fair use. This is fighthype.com. Let's hear what Shushu has to say. Performance from anyway. I saw a lot of highlights from that fight. I didn't get to watch the full fight yet, but I'm seeing a bunch of people tag me and like stuff on Twitter and whatnot. Like, oh, shoot, hey man, you could beat him. Oh, I see what you were talking about, shoot. Blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I'll check the fight out and see what everyone's talking about at some point. But, you know, there's holes in a man's game. Granted, he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter, man. But um, I genuinely believe like I'll be the one to take him down. 100%, I would love to have a fight with MOA out here in the US. Um, I mean, if it happens to, if it has to be in Japan, shoot, it could be in Japan as well too. And there you have it. You hear Shushu says, he see holes in Noya Inoue's game that he exploit. He said he doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the fight's in Japan or America. It sounds like he preferred to be in America, but he would go to Japan to fight him. With him believing Inoue has holes in his game, he still considers Inoue a great fighter. With being a four division champ, two time undisputed, how can't you not believe that Inoue is not a great fighter just because you don't watch the lower weight classes, right? But anyway, what are your thoughts? What do you think about Shushu Carrington's comments that he will take down the monster and also Inoue has holes in his game? I think Ring IQ said it best. There are no perfect fighters out there. But anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.